Black people, Steve Harvey has a message for you. He wants you to shut up and vote for Kamala Harris. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. A video has resurfaced that shows Steve Harvey moderating a conversation with Vice President Kamala Harris. The conversation took place in June, a month before President Joe Biden bowed out of the race due to health issues. In the video, Harvey chastised black people for asking the Biden-Harris administration for something in return for their vote. Harvey responded to allegations that he never asked politicians hard-hitting questions. That is what this is, he said. I'm throwing a lob. This is an alley-oop for a dunk because this administration needs to get the word out of what they are doing and what they are actually accomplishing so we can stop all this foolishness about what you're doing for black people. Harvey continued, I'm on this radio show and I'm hearing all these people talking about I'm not voting if they're not doing nothing for us. Listen to me. If we don't vote, how are we going to ask for something next time? Next time? Did he say next time? Let's hear it from Harvey's own mouth. Check out this clip. Reading this paper because I got to stay to the, this is, I got a headache trying to stay on course so just let me go off this paper for a minute uh before y'all start calling my radio show and dming me talking about why you ain't asked no hard hitting questions that ain't what this is i'm throwing a lob this is an alley oop for a dunk because this administration needs to get the word out of what they're actually doing and what they're actually accomplishing so we can stop all this foolishness about what you're doing for black people can't nobody come out with no agenda and call it this for black people and expect to get in the White House. You got to play the game different. Y'all know what this is. So now this next question is another lob for her to dump. Because they done done a lot, man. But we, we See, I'm on this radio show and I'm hearing all these people talking about I'm not voting if they're not doing nothing for us. Listen to me. If you do not vote, the analytics will show they know how many women vote, how many, they know the age you are when you vote. If we don't vote, how are we going to ask for something next time? If you ain't got no voting power, you talking about reparations. Ain't nobody finna give you no reparations and you don't vote? Oh, well, you think they finna give us some money? No, how, man. I hope they do. They owe us. I go down there. I'm sorry. Boy, oh boy, Harvey's words struck a chord among people on X.com who are tired of hearing the same message repeated every election year. So here are some tweets that people have tweeted about this. I don't have the words to articulate just how outrageously dumb this is. Someone says, so everyone else can get ish and black people should shut up and vote. F out of here, Goofy. Stop supporting all entertainment. But weak people idolize these people because they have low self-esteem. Someone else says, Steve Harvey is a failure, an adulterer, a liar, a manipulator, a fool, everybody's good time boy, a clown, a hater, a cocoon, a self-deprecating bee. <laughs> Jeez. Someone else says, they've been seeing the analytics for the last 50 years. They know black people vote and still ain't gave us ish. You gotta withhold your vote and tell them they tell them may the best ASS kisser win. Someone says, imagine Trump saying to all white Americans, come on, y'all know what this is. Stop asking me for stuff and just vote for me. Use your own intellect, people. Clowns follow clowns. Yes, they do. I cannot stand Steve Harvey. Remember when he and Monique clashed after Monique said integrity and equality mean more to her than money in reference to her issue with Netflix? She had told Steve Harvey, before the money game, it's called the integrity game. And we've lost the integrity worried about the money. 
And Steve Harvey replied, "If I crumble, my children crumble. My grandchildren crumble. I cannot, for the sake of my integrity, stand up here and let everybody that's counting on me crumble, so that I can make a statement. There are ways to win the war in a different way. Remember that this guy is a sellout." And he doesn't give a damn about black people. As long as he get his, he doesn't care. Him and his wife Marjorie, aka Lady Heroin. Yes, that Lady Heroin. From dealing with D R U G dealers, aka street pharmacists, to becoming Steve Harvey's mistress. Allegedly, she was messing with Steve Harvey while he was married, and she made her way to the top to become Mrs. Steve Harvey. So black people should not care what Steve Harvey has to say. This guy is a sellout. This guy has no integrity. This guy sold his soul for money. Listen, if you keep letting rich black folks tell you how to vote, then you deserve the high rent. You deserve the high gas. You deserve the trans everywhere with your kids. These rich black folks don't care about you. As long as they get theirs, you think Steve Harvey cares what happens? He's rich. He will not be affected. He's good. He's not worrying about the poor. Actually, none of them are. They don't care about the poor people. All they want is to get is richer and richer. They just want your money. Okay? They will not be affected by whatever happens. So stop listening to these clowns. These people are puppets. They are put in position because they will do whatever they are told. Period. So that's all, you guys. So, what are your thoughts on Steve Harvey telling black folks to just shut up and vote for Kamala? So you guys can ask for something next time. What are your thoughts on that? And if you have not subscribed already, I would deeply appreciate if you did. Of course, like this video. I'm an independent YouTuber, so your likes and subscribes and comments mean way more to me. Okay, you guys, thank you for tuning in. And I will see you on the next one. Peace.